Yeah, Mr. Barton, what do you think about the festival today, to the festival of the early years? In the earlier period, we hadn't, there was no festival, just competitions. And today, what I have seen and heard is beyond my imagination. I never thought that I'll be able to see such instrument and hear such instrument as we have today and the music that, they, that, that comes out from the instruments of the steel bands. It is beyond my imagination. The steel band men have a tremendous capacity that I think is really safely could be unparalleled anywhere else because um, to retain two or three, two to three hundred bars of music is not an easy, an easy feat for somebody to do. And here it is that these guys are doing it. Uh, when I look at um, the, the Boston Symphony Orchestra or the New York Philharmonic, you find that the conductor would be the one that really memorizes the score. And you know, the other guys, the, you know, the violinists are reading, the trumpeters are reading, they've got to count barres and all that stuff, all that kind of stuff. With the steel band men, it's, it's, it's pure retention. And I think it's a great skill that they have. In addition to which the, the people that um, day in and day out go into the pan yards and work with these scores, um, they, they, I'm talking about the conductors, you know, the, the Gemmets, the Prospects, the, the Pat Bishops, you know, all those people, the Villafanas. They have um, a tremendous amount of patience. So let's talk about pioneers and evolution and all these things. It's nice, you know, but what about standardizing the pan to make sure that, um, you know, it stays here? You made a very um, valid point there about standardization. That is going to be one of the segments on the whole series of, um, you know, films on the steel ban. Because standardization is something that has to be done very quickly in the movement. First, we need to standardize pan. I will say it again. It's a nice pan. Tuners, pan tuners come together. It's about time, fellas. Pans should be standardized, so to speak. Um, a pianist will leave from Russia and come to Trinidad. He, didn't, he don't have to work with a piano from Russia. He come in straight here in Trinidad and he jump in on the piano and he playing it. Pan men need to get that done. All tuners have to get together with the executive body of Pan Shimigo or all pan men and decide what is what, what is simplest to play. What could be marketable? Okay. 
right away it was scandalizing. Cause you can't keep on arguing forever. And we tell you that you have to be better. Because the most important duty today you have on hand is to try and keep this bank for the union. So you just tell me how many grams of steel it will take to make a base bank. Or what is the degree of heat you need to go down to your pass? Or what is the size of the rubber to be the high double tenor? These are the facts that you want to be. Salonization could go for the schools and for bands that want to use it. And eventually that will fall into place because in schools, which are now the young farmers, you could um, start to salonize the pan from the school, from the booth. Uh, these young children will come up. All right, that's all right, good. But then they must pay attention to the type of metal, and the gauge. No, this is one instrument that is not easily user tuned. So we have a market now for tuners. The more pans that are mass produced, the more pans a tuner has to tune. In that sense, there'll be a lot of revenue coming in, not only to the country, but to the innovators and the tuners in the country as well. They may even be asked to go abroad and tune pans for schools, etc. So there's a big market open there for everybody in Trinidad. Yeah, Curtis, if all you feel that the, this first film here is something else, wait till you see the next one. The next one we're doing is about the community, the pan yard, the spirit of the whole steel band movement, all of this. Anyhow, after one practice, so. Yeah, man. You go pick up a little bit. All right. Yeah. All right. So that's all.